Finally! Welcome back, friends, with Season 4 of The Dragon Prince. It's been almost three years since Season 3. I've missed this show a lot and can't wait to get back into it. This was actually the first show I reacted to on this channel, and I was actually the only channel reacting to this series for a little while. Now we have so many more reactors, and it's nice to see what a following this show has built. Excited to check back in with all of our characters, Ezrin, Rayla, Callum, Soren, and Zim. And on the other side, Viren, Claudia, and Little Bug Pal. But there are also so many other great side characters in this show. Queen Anya, the Crowmaster. Do you think he got promoted by now? Uh, the Baker, Amaya, and Janai. So happy to be checking in on them after all this time. Uh, I haven't watched any of the trailers because the last time I did in Season 3, I felt it was a little spoilery, so this will all be new to me. I believe we know there's going to be a time skip, though. It'll be cool to see how everyone's progressed since then, how Zim has grown up a little since then, I'm hoping. I am watching the first episode a little earlier than the Netflix release. You can look around for the video on YouTube. But thanks for tuning in. Leave a like. really helps with the channel. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome what, back. What's going on? Two days ago, it climbed up that wall and spun itself into that. It's changing. I've been dead for two whole days? It's been two years, Dad. What? Over two years have passed. She revived him after two years? How is that even possible? Whoa. New opening. Whoa. What the heck? We made him look like a chess piece or something. Mystery of Aravos. What? Look at Callum. Aw. Grown up a little bit. What secrets are you hiding? Oh, peering into the same mirror. Hi, Mage Callum. The King's Council is assembling in the throne room. Hi, Mage. That makes sense. No. <laughs> uh, you don't need to call me that. Just, just regular Callum. But you don't have to actually say regular. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Okay, I'm sorry. Now I don't remember what you came here to tell me. King's Council. Council meeting, right? On my way. <laughs> Aw. Fluvium Prisidium. There was so much magic now. He made a little umbrella for himself. Aww. Someone invent umbrellas. Horvus! Soren looks a little different too. There he is! The Step Mage! Step Mage! Still funny. Gets a little funnier every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not the Crow Master anymore since I got promoted. Nice! Associate Crow Lord. Huh. Not bad, not it bad. Doesn't sound so like much of a promotion. Come for me? I don't get involved with things on an individual package level. He's the high mate. For you, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks. You ever get that feeling where... Where you walk into a room and everyone suddenly shuts up and you're pretty sure they were talking about you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You're, you're way off, buddy. Oh, Soren. King Ezra. Aww. I like how the baker is part of this whole meeting. We can start this council meeting. Opelli, wait. We're not all here. Where's Rayla? Bait! It's a bait and switch! It's a bait and switch! I thought it was gonna be Rayla! <laughs> where's Rayla? And where's Amaya? Oh, there she is. And Gren and Janai! I understand the need for secret missions. You shouldn't keep the secret from me. And it's safer for you not to know yet. Mm -hmm. Safer. I promise you, Amaya. They did a little light hand holding last time. Are they together now? I need you to wait here. Kinda loving the hair. She's trustworthy. I'm just I'll very curious. Right our the hand of the king? Business it's is a... welcoming our new council a whisk. to his first day. Aww. <laughs> Welcome, Barius the Baker. Hand of the whisk of the king. Barius. Minister of Crusts and Jellies. Minister of Crusts and Jellies. Aww. <laughs> and he's stuffing his face. Our next topic. I've planned a surprise for everyone. Catalus is going to have some special visitors. <laughs> Drum ball. The Dragon Queen is coming to Catalus, and she's bringing Zim. Oh, wow. That seems like a very big deal. Um, won't people be 
freaked out. Maybe start with Zim. Smaller. Trust and peace between the human kingdoms and Zadia. And besides, she only eats three people a day. It's a small price to pay for peace. What? Not a good. <laughs> Sorry, not funny. Bad joke. After Callum's gone, should we talk about uh, uh, that new dance craze? Oh, oh, all the kids are doing it. <laughs> oh my God! It's the freaking backpack kid. Floss it, it's I called, right? I can't believe it's been over two years. Claudia looks the same. I have a lot to catch up on. Jeez. When I found your body, it was more bent and broken than this crown. Erevos told me I had to act fast. The star caterpillar spun a strange, sparkly cocoon around you to preserve your body. Oh. I had to do things I never imagined I would be able to do. <sighs> oh, I'm, man. I'm sorry. I'm sure we'll learn more as time goes by. Is that a whip? Whoa! Is it a dance? Or a fight? It's a fight. Okay. I was like, is this a, a welcome dance? Oh, maybe... I think it was a welcome dance. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, jeez! It was a welcome dance. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> you don't understand. How could this happen? Even I was confused, okay? She's like, oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> 99 and... <gasps> What's going on, Soren? <sighs> the whispers and secrets and hush-hushy stuff in the council meeting? Hush-hushy. You're gonna tell me. Is there a plot against the king? No. Oh, I mean, maybe, kind of. Soren! <laughs> Zorin! What is this really about? And he keeps sweating. Lunging. Why were they wielding fire whips? Those aren't whips. They're flame ribbons used in the dance. Flame ribbons? Go on, show her. Sorry! Sorry! This <laughs> is the traditional sunfire of ceremony. What kind of ceremony? Marriage? I was joking. What? Oh my god. <laughs> you asked her to wrestle with you. Wrestle? We've done that already before, haven't we? It was amazing. Oh. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry for knocking you over, attacking you. <sighs> You're back. Oh, I'm here. I'm alive. But for now, for now, this spell will only bring you back for 30 days. There is a way to make it permanent. Ervos can do it. When do we expect our star touch savior to emerge? Three years from now. Never. That's never. not Ervos. Ervos is trapped in a magical prison somewhere. So what's hat going to hatch? He doesn't know where it is. The being that emerges from the chrysalis will guide you to one who <laughs> has answers. The voice was necessary. Be. Be. <laughs> oh. Soren told me everything. The secret plot that the crown guard is working to thwart. Right. Callum, we need oh my your God. help with the... The, the thwarting. The thwarting. The thwarting. But maybe we can go... I'll help any way I can. How can you Let's not tell their lying? Office, is, you know who knows most of the details? Corvus! Corvus. What's under that cover? I'm convinced there's a deeper secret here if I can just figure out what it is or what it does. That does sound very interesting. The oh, cube. Uh, super, super interesting. It is! They're being so as obvious. As soon as it gets here, I'm gonna be able to... Wait, wait. Are you trying to stall me? Yeah. The King's Tower went dark. Ezrid's in trouble. Manus, Pluma, <gasps> Lament. Ezrid, I'm coming. He just went to sleep. Surprise? Surprise! What? <laughs> what? Happy birthday. Aww. I can't believe this. It's a birthday party. That's the whole thing. Happy mystical, magical birthday. Aww. Ah, there he is. 
I missed it. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's hard to imagine things getting any worse. Oh, wait. Do you have more bad news? One more thing. Meet my new boyfriend. Hello. The name's Terry. Aw. Like she said. It's short for <laughs> terrestrious. <laughs> ah. Right. May I call you Viren? No. Lord. Uh, sir. Claudia's dead? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Trees to meet you. Trees to meet you. I think it went well. Aww. Yeah, everybody's flossing. All the kids are doing it. Sorin <laughs> was right. Oh, Sorin was right. Hey, Bait. Have you seen the birthday mage? I haven't seen him in a while. Why aren't you celebrating? Various made you a special birthday treat. Pineapple right side up cake. Pineapple right side up cake? It's isn't... not really my birthday anymore. Not to me. Because of Rayla. This will always just be the anniversary of the day she left. What? Why? You Why'd she love leave? Her, don't you? Of course. She loves you too. What the hell happened? That's how they end the episode. Oh man. Aww. Janai and Amaya. They're gonna get married. Ah, uh, Terry. Ha <laughs> ha He seems too nice. It feels like there's more to him than meets the eye. Uh, she just left a letter. Uh. And the wi ribbon. I almost said whip again. It's a ribbon. They put so much love into this episode with Janai and Amaya, Claudia and Terry, and then they took it all away from us with Rayla and Callum. They don't even know what happened to each other. They were just, they're so far apart from each other. She just left on his birthday a year or two ago. Oh my God, that's just too sad. Ugh, oh, I'm heartbroken. We gotta find out at some point during this season what happened, right? And maybe we'll see her in episode two or something. I don't know, but. Hopefully they're reunited by the end of the season and they're still as in love as ever because I'm too sad right now. I'm too sad right now. Okay, so I'm obviously heartbroken about Callum and Rayla. They shouldn't be separated like this, man. I kept wondering where she was throughout this episode. I thought she was going to join the council meeting, but no, they pulled a bait and switch, literally. What reason could she have for leaving, though? And... I mean, she just left a letter and disappeared, apparently. I know Callum said the tome he's expecting from Amaya is for translations for the mirror, but maybe there's some spell out there that can track Rayla? Is her scent still on his scarf from last season? Maybe you can use that? I don't know. Bait, how good's your nose? I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, also the mirror. I can see why this next arc is called Mystery of Aravos. Callum is coming at Aravos from one direction, while Viren and Claudia come from the other. It was nice of Soren and Corvus to keep everything hush-hush, and nice of everybody to throw Callum this nice surprise party to maybe get his mind off of it, but it was no use. Poor kid. Also, Soren, stop calling him Step Mage. It's, it's funny a little bit, but no, come on. Uh, Callum has gotten more proficient with magic, learning new spells. We saw him put up a magic umbrella. That was very cute. And, oh, the Crow Master did get a promotion. He's now the Associate Crow Lord. And he couldn't stop telling everybody about it. Super funny. Uh, the council meeting was great. The baker is now a counselor as well. And his pin, such a great reference to Game of Thrones with the hand of the king. But it has a freaking whisk attached to it. Ugh. Very well deserved for our new Minister of Crust and Jellies. I was actually thinking, does a kingdom really need one of the, those? A Minister of Crust and Jellies? But hey, he's got a big job right away with Zubeya coming to visit with Zim. Uh, gotta get a dragon-sized jelly tart ready. But Zubeya and Zim coming is gonna be great for human and Zadian relations. And that's something I really, really want to see as well. How the realms interact with each other now. How Ezrin performs statecraft and how he interacts with other kingdoms. Maybe even elven kingdoms. And speaking of elf and human relations, Janai and Amaya, oh my god. I thought it was a dance, and then I thought it was a fight, and then I was like, no, it's a dance, Amaya, no. That was super, super funny. And Amaya was so cute when she was mortified that she attacked those dancers. And then we had a very, very sweet proposal from Janai. Oh, I really, really love that. I'm so happy to see those two are still together and are even gonna get married now. Yay. 
Nothing better get in the way of that, because this is going to be my emotional support, happy relationship well, until Rayla comes back. And then we have Viren back from the dead after two years. We saw that scene at the end of last season, but I thought it was just two days later. And I was shocked at how it was even possible, but Aravos was preserving his body. That makes sense. But yeah, little bug pal cocooned himself. And so they have no real direct contact with Aravos for now. And they just have whatever butterfly or moth that comes out of the cocoon to guide them later. And yeah, Viren can only stay alive for the next 30 days. Not a month, not 31 days because it's an extra long month. And thankfully not only 28 days because it's February. And so yeah, 30 days to find Aravos and bring him back so he can keep Viren alive. Wow. Definitely a race against the clock. A heck of a new opening we saw though with Viren turning to stone and Aravos picking him up like a chess piece. I think that's clearly what they were trying to convey, that he's possibly a pawn or one of the higher ranking pieces. Either way, he's being used like this. Not the best situation. We'll see how it plays out in the rest of the season. And then Claudia, uh, like she's not motivated by evil and she's still a kid. Like if Soren can be redeemed after trying to murder Ezrin last season, she can be too. We just have to see if that'll happen at some point. But she does get a cute new boyfriend, Terry, short for Terrestrius. That's such a good nickname. Uh, he's an Earthblood elf. Uh, Viren does not approve whatsoever. No one could ever be good enough for his Claudi Wadi. Uh, in the credits, though, he had uh, Ter Terry had that anime white glasses thing going on. So there's probably more to him than meets the eye. I guess we'll find out in the coming season. And I actually don't remember if Claudia knows that Callum can do magic now without a primal stone and without dark magic. I mean, Viren probably saw him use the, the wing magic, so um, he probably knows. But I think Viren and Claudia will realize that the way Callum and Ezrin are ruling now is actually okay. But even if that's the case, Viren has to be brought, has to bring Aravos back in order to stay alive. And so that's going to bring a whole host of problems as well. And I know book four and book five are one arc. So is it possible that these next 30 days will be spread out over two seasons? Or will Arvos come back at the end of uh, the next season? And also same with Rayla. I like want a reunion like right, right now. If we don't get one till book five, I'm going to be so mad. Ugh. But hopefully we see them together sooner rather than later, her and Callum. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like. really helps out the channel. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. I'll see you all next week when the rest of the season drops on Netflix. Bye, friends.